Yo, there's this one UI library that keeps absolutely crushing it that I keep talking about on this channel. You read the title, you're not stupid, so let's see the new feature. There's a handful of people for whose work I have a very sincere admiration for. And one of them is the creator of this UI library called ShadCN that just introduced blocks. So in March 2024, introducing blocks, one of the most requested features since launch has been layouts, admin dashboards with sidebar marketing page sections, cards and more. Today we're launching launching blocks and then there's a little preview trust me we're gonna get to the stuff that's new blocks are ready-made components that you can use to build your apps they are fully responsive accessible and composable meaning they are built using the same principles as the rest of the components in Shadzi and UI and that is fantastic because the zero abstraction approach we get for the components now have the same appliance in these blocks we're starting with dashboard layouts and authentication pages with plans to add more blocks in the coming weeks the idea of blocks is nothing new. Evidently, because of Tailwind UI, they did the same thing where you have a lot of components, you can go in here and you can get the code for these components to copy and paste in your app. But two things about Tailwind UI. First off, they use a UI library and that is headless UI slash react under the hood, which I don't like. It's their own UI library with a lot of abstraction. I find it very unintuitive. And secondly, it's paid. It's not open source. You can't access most of these components unless you explicitly go and pay for them. Which is totally fine. These are a ton of work to make. But it's also the main reason why I have so much admiration for Shadzi and actually open sourcing this entire project. Blocks are open source. You can find the source on GitHub, use them in your projects, customize them, and you can be part of this. You can even request new blocks like this. If there's a block you would like to see in the library, you can request it. Write a description of what you want the block to look like, link an example if you have one, and bam, there you go. It might just show up on the page we're about to take a look at right now. Which are the actual blocks that have been introduced that are beautifully designed, copy and paste into your apps. And of course, as I mentioned, fully open source. So unlike in Tailwind UI, where there's this get the code button that you need to pay for, you simply go over to the code tab right here. And because it's all open source, you get access to the code without paying a cent for it. Now, is this monetized? Yes, it is kind of, but in a very, very smart way that is non-intrusive through this little button right here, edit in V0. That's a Vercel made tool that lets you customize this component but it's super well monetized. It's not intrusive whatsoever, but you pay for convenience and not for the access itself. And I really like that approach. Everything here is super responsive. We can toggle that on and off right here. And let's take a look at the components that are in here. Basically, it's a dashboard. I think it's only a couple ones. It's an AI playground in here that showcases some drop-down menus, the temperature number inputs. So basically, you can use this whole left side part to interact with the content that is shown here on the right side. And if you want, even have a message field right here. So so I guess you could build your own chat GPT with this if you wanted to. And to me, it seems like currently everything here is a dashboard. There's not nearly as many different components as in Tailwind UI. But again, for that, it's open source and it just launched. So of course, there's not going to be as much components. Little option menu right here, some authentication stuff for the login and also for the social login, which is pretty damn neat. And I think we are already almost at the end. So a lot of login stuff, auth stuff here at the end with the blocks. And this works exactly like Tailwind. Tailwind UI, by the way, if you do have access to the code, you can also go ahead and drag this down to see how it looks responsively. Now, how this works is basically really, really simple. We have the base Shadzi and component library that has a bunch of primitives, like for example, the card component, right? The drop down component, or hell, dude, even the input component. All of these are called primitives and they're included in the core UI library. And all that blocks do is built on top of these primitives in a curated kind of way. So it's a bit designed for you. You have some layout options in here, but it uses the same primitives that are in the core UI library. And it has the same paradigm to it with no abstractions that is also in the core UI library that works super well. What do you think? I really like this change, especially it being open source. You can be a part of this whole thing. You can come up with components yourself and contribute. Whereas with stuff like Tailwind UI, that's paid, that's not possible. This guy is doing some crazy good work. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I have a very sincere admiration for it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. That's gonna be it for me for this video. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Until then, have a good one and bye bye.